The sunny and dry California days are far from reach as residents brace for the ongoing severe weather events that the atmospheric river has been causing. Here is Sabrina Beggarinstein in Washington, D.C. with more details. I'm standing in front of the headquarters of the Federal Emergency Management Agency, where President Biden approved an emergency declaration for California after severe winter storms, floodings, and high winds caused havoc in early March and is expected to continue to the end of the month. Just this Tuesday, the atmospheric river brought thundering high gust winds to the San Francisco area, and about 185,000 Californians across the state are without power as these strong winds and rain create paths of destruction. Look back the last few years in this state, it's been fire to ice uh, and, you know, no warm bath in between. In Santa Cruz County, residents experienced gusts of up to 97 miles per hour and included major flooding. Soldiers with the California National Guard are working with emergency services and first responders to help people. In some cases, that means helping them evacuate flooded areas. Road crews and construction partners worked through the night. We've reestablished a temporary single lane access for that community to be able to get in and out um, for their good supplies. The Weather Service Climate Prediction Center said Californians will catch a short break over the weekend before the next atmospheric river, also known as Rivers in the Sky, comes along early next week to bring in more rain. Scientists believe global warming is a big factor to the growing intensity of these atmospheric rivers and that catastrophic events we are seeing are going to become more frequent in the near future. I'm Sabrina Beggerstein in Washington, D.C. for the South Florida Media Network.